I had to harvest all my beautiful plants to move you over, so you had better freaking work. I swear to God, it's been scooched over one full square. Please, just work. It works. It works. We have a thing. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Rad. Now, I've said it before and been wrong, but I'll say it again. Today, we're gonna get rescued as soon as I... As soon as I fire this scarecrow and then murder this seagull. What are you doing, dude? Are you not paying attention? This is why I need to be rescued, okay? I can't even build myself good help, but we have everything that we need, right? We've come so far. I've scavenged for the most basic of materials and managed to turn them into some kind of mayonnaise-powered computer that doesn't work right now because of altitude. We still haven't figured that out yet, but I'm gonna figure it out, and then we're gonna get off this raft. You guys have no idea how difficult it is to do an intro in this game without being interrupted. Okay, Steve and Babs have been so far up my butt this series that they can't even see the ocean anymore. <laughs> and I can't get over how useless you are. You cost me materials. I didn't even bother naming you. That's how little I care right now. So much so that I think we should build something else. Hopefully something a little bit less disappointing. I don't know what's going to happen as soon as we actually manage to get the receiver to work. It might end the game. It might be early access so nothing happens. I don't know, but I figured if we're going to possibly end the game, I should take a look at everything that we have available to us. Like uh, a clock or a rug. All these things, right? We haven't built this stuff before. Oh, look who finally decided to start doing their job. Well, you know what? You deserve this, okay? I'm just gonna leave him to... Oh. That's how he works. <laughs> I had no idea! I've never seen that before because you never managed to actually do anything. Can I repair you? Doesn't look like it. Okay, well, now you get one arm, okay? that That's gonna be... That's gonna be your punishment. Do you see what I mean about how difficult it is to not be interrupted? <laughs> Please go away! Ah, oh, they updated the game to increase how much health Steve has, and it's just mind-blowing now. I'm gonna have to shish kebab him over and over again. This isn't even a joke. Like, this isn't fancy editing. I, I keep trying to say something, and Steve keeps coming back and breaking an arm off of him. You know what, this is fine. I want to see what's going to happen. I was going to say, I have so many materials except for... I was going to say that I have a ton of each of material except for scrap metal. So I can't actually build a clock right now. I could probably tell time by how frequently Steve comes, but that's just going to drive me closer to insanity. Is there anything else that I haven't built yet? We could do a tree crop plot. Uh, oh, a bird's nest. Right, this was something that interested me. A place for seagulls to rest and lay eggs. Be sure to keep your distance as birds are easily scared. Okay, so I can actually invite the Steves over. Maybe that will appease them? I'm not really sure. I guess if you can't beat them, you might as well join them. So I need clams. I'm pretty sure I've been, yeah, I've been saving a bunch of clams and wood. I should have a whole bunch of wood somewhere as well. There we go. Do I have more clams, I wonder? No. Oh, right. I have a candle in a bottle. That was something that I haven't used yet. I found that, just kind of pulled it out of the ocean. It's kind of nice. A little cosmetic. Can I... Can I light it? No? Okay. So it's kind of like the shoe. You can grow a beet in it, except for this is just there. I'm perfectly fine with cosmetics, just little Easter egg things. So let's build a couple of bird's nests, and uh, I'll put them on the roof. I'm not doing anything else with the roof right now. You guys can just uh, hang out over here-ish. Might be able to build a few more. Now what? Oh my god, is he back again? How? I built you a nest! What more do you want from me? I'm gonna go to sleep, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow morning, it's gonna be a brand new day that will hopefully not have any seagulls. Just giant angry fish. Kinda curious how this is gonna work. Like, do I get eggs, or are they just gonna hang out in the nests and I can sneak up behind them and murder them? Because I'll take that too. Another thing I wouldn't mind trying is some armor, because Bab seems to really enjoy the corner pieces for some reason. She keeps coming back here. So what if I break you apart, 
And then build an armored piece? Yeah, foundation armor. Uh, oh, actually place it on top of a piece of pre-existing foundation. Okay, bam. There we go, so what is that gonna do? It better make it invulnerable and not just increase its health or I'm gonna be real upset. <laughs> Everywhere I go, there's just giant broken pieces. Okay, that's fixed. We do a quick perimeter check. It's just all over the place. And of course we have an oncoming storm. <laughs> Cannot catch a break. There we go, okay. It's all my nails. So let's see Babs get through that. Now, what is going wrong with this? I still can't figure out what it means by altitude. I, I get the feeling I might need to put these higher up in the air, but I kind of don't want to get struck by lightning. Is that a thing? Have we seen lightning? <laughs> Maybe I'll just wait. I just had an epiphany while staring at this thing, wondering why my antennas are connected via Pringles cans. Maybe they all need to be on the same level, right? Wrong altitude might just mean that for some reason these wires don't, like they look like they should work, right? That looks pretty good, like it's supposed to work that way in the game, but I guess I could pick you up and then remove you. Wait, 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 wait. No inventory space. I learned from last episode, okay? You guys can all be proud now. If I had picked that up and it disappeared, I would have been devastated. <laughs> there is no way I could have rebuilt it. So, let's see here. If we put you down here somewhere, um, about right over here, probably want you facing me. Yeah, that seems kind of important. Something like that. There we go, okay, everything is on the same level now. We uh, pop our battery in. Still got the battery, still have quite a bit of juice left in that. Uh, requires higher altitude. What does that mean? So now it's not the wrong altitude, it just requires higher altitude. So maybe they all need to be on the same altitude, but higher. So I need to build towers in the corners to put these things on, and then this can go back on the second floor. Does that make sense? Higher altitude. I don't know, man. I don't know why I expect more detailed information from a microwave. And we can make a quick stop to get ourselves some scrap metal. I don't know why I have building a clock and being rescued on the same level of importance, but I do. It is so laggy here. Oh, the islands just murder your frame rate. Okay, let's do this quickly. Come on, Barbara. Oh, okay. No, you gotta, you gotta give me time. You gotta give me time to react, okay? Just, just let me get some scrap metal. Right, just let me get all these mufflers out of your home. Come on, come on, what do you got, what do you got? There we go, get, get out of here. Stop it, okay, ow, ow, the lag. All right then, you know what? I think that's enough, that almost killed me. We're just gonna pull up the old anchor and get out of here. Freaking islands, man, it doesn't make any sense. Why do you tank my frame rate? <laughs> Play The Witcher 3 at 60 frames per second on all ultra, but I get near a clump of clay and raft and my computer sets fire. The seagulls never did show up for their nests. No idea why, maybe they've caught on to the fact that I don't like them. <laughs> they show up 15 times at the beginning of the episode, and then as soon as I welcome them, they just decide, nah, you know what, we should probably overstate our welcome. <laughs> so now I have a clock, which can... We can go on the wall? Or can go on the ground, ooh. This thing's pretty fancy, okay, you know what, I think I want it up here where I sleep. Yeah, this would be like my alarm clock. How on earth did I make this? Between my Easy Bake computer and the grandfather clock that I managed to make out of driftwood, I'm kind of impressed, I'm not gonna lie. And we also have our towers set up. So hopefully, we can now move you up a floor. Do I have inventory space? Yes, okay, always gonna check from now on. The last thing I need is to drop this in the ocean somewhere. So you're gonna go back up here, and hopefully that'll be it. I really wish this thing was a little more specific, not gonna lie. Just pop you down there, and then battery, and... Too far from receiver? Okay. 
Th that's an improvement, right? So it's it's that one, right? Yeah, it's the red one. The red one needs to move over a little bit. God, this thing is picky. I had to harvest all my beautiful plants to move you over, so you had better freaking work. I swear to God, it's been scooched over one full square. Please, just work. It works. It works. We have a thing. Distance is uh, about a kilometer, I guess. It's not giving me units. I don't know why I would expect units. It's a microwave, and we have a thing. There's, there's a thing... Uh, I don't know, that way? Probably that way, but we have a thing! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So, I need to go uh, over here, I guess. I also need to eat and drink, because no matter how excited I am, I am still gonna die. Speaking of dying, could you maybe see you really? You're just gonna go for the one right next to the armored one? Why do you have to be so smart? <laughs> That's not okay, Barbara. <laughs> I don't have- oh, it did go for this one eventually. 75%. Huh. Okay. So it does just increase health. Interesting. Not all that useful, and I don't have any food. Well, I do have some food. Actually, we have beets. So how about we, uh, barbecue some beets? You can see why I'm so excited for survival. <laughs> so I'm going over in that direction. Is it- like, getting closer? Kind of? Yeah! Okay! I, th I think we're on track. We're getting closer, that's all that matters! Is there anything else interesting here that I haven't made yet? How about a rug? Reduces splinters in your feet. Yeah, you know what? That sounds lovely. I'll take a couple of rugs, thank you very much. How about we place one right over here? Yeah, and then we can place one up in the living quarters. No reason not to live the high life right before you leave. <laughs> okay. Anything else? I think we've built just about everything. Like a sign and a chair and stuff like that. Not all that interesting. I still don't see anything. So I probably have enough time to grow an entire tree, right? <laughs> God only knows how long this is going to take, so... How about we put a tree in front of these stupid antenna? Because they're a bit of an eyesore. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, and we can plant... What do we want? A palm tree or a mango tree? I kind of want a palm tree. A little bit bigger, a little bit beefier. You can uh, toss a seed in there. Needs fresh water. Of course you do. Okay, fortunately, I have a ton of fresh water and a bunch of cooked beets. I don't know why I'm trying to get rescued, right? We're living the high life here. I'm still incredibly curious what we're going to find, though. <laughs> Am I getting closer? I, I don't know if this is actually working. Yeah, 630. We're halfway to wherever we're going. Wait, what the hell? Why is it a thousand meters that way now? Did I pass it? That doesn't make any sense. I didn't see anything. Okay, hold on a second. So now we're going... That way. So let's just turn you a little bit and get to moving over there. I am so confused right now. That can't be the same thing, right? It was 600 meters there. Now it's a thousand meters there. It's only been like 30 seconds. <laughs> I don't know what you're telling me, Radar. Don't mind me just building a forest on my raft as I wait to be rescued. <laughs> I cannot find this thing, guys. I am just floating around, and every time I get close to it, it's like a mirage. It just moves. I don't understand what's going on, but I'm gonna figure it out this episode, okay? It took me long enough to figure out the whole altitude thing. Just you wait. Now, where is it now? It should be, like, 500 and something ahead of us. Yeah, 590. Just over there. I don't suppose it's picking up islands, is it? Because I think I passed an island back there and I didn't think anything of it. I swear to God, if all this thing does is pick up islands, I, I can find an island without all of this work. <laughs> oh, that'd be so depressing. I know for a fact that you guys just saw that because it happened in the blink of an eye. But it just went from 400 and something meters to my east to 1300 meters in front of me instantly. 
it doesn't make any sense. This thing is broken. Do I need light mayo for a battery? I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. Okay, I'm gonna keep chasing the dream. There has to be some way to make this thing work. There has to be some reason for it to exist. I don't want to leave this thing running because then I need more batteries and I don't have any batteries. I don't even think I can build another battery, can I? Uh, let's see here. Battery. Battery requires a copper ingot. I might be able to... Might be able to build one more battery. Can I charge my battery somewhere? No, probably not. Okay, let's see if I can build one more. I think I have a copper ingot, please, please. I got two copper ingots. Okay, we might be able to build like two batteries. Just need a little bit of scrap metal. So if you could help me out, game, that would be great. Out of all of this, I got two pieces of scrap metal. I need three. I just can't catch a break. <laughs> I pissed away my scrap metal growing trees thinking I was in the clear. Oh my god, man. Why is surviving so difficult? <laughs> just stop, okay? Please. <laughs> Please, just leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's been about 45 minutes since I got this thing working and I have chased three or four ghosts now. We're gonna try one more time. I am 800 meters away, going at about two meters a second, which means it should only take about five more minutes to get there. So we're gonna jump cut, and if this thing disappears again, I, I'm done. I, I'm just gonna live the rest of my life here. Barrel Wife is gonna have to show up sooner rather than later. There's something over there. Okay, is that... It's actually getting closer. Okay, it's none of the rim anymore. We're currently... 264 meters away, and I can actually see something. Maybe? I can't tell. It's just a square in the distance. I could go to sleep, but I'm afraid we'll miss it. I think that's a star. We've been tricked chasing... Yeah, we've been chasing those before. They tend to kind of blink, but... That definitely looks like a thing. Oh, please don't tell me this is an island. Okay, well, it is kind of an island, but that's not what I meant. This is definitely something special. It has to be, right? And I'm guessing that's what we're picking up. We have little satellite dishes too, so just... Yes, 96 meters. Oh my god, finally. Why was this thing jumping around? For a minute, I thought maybe it was like a boat or a plane that we're picking up and it's moving all over the place. It just turns out the game is ridiculous. I'm so tempted to just swim over there and greet my rescuers. Right, there has to be somebody here. They've got electricity. They've got windows and metal and the bare necessities. Oh my God. Okay, let's just rotate this way a little bit. Try not to hit this thing. Maybe we can get on over there somewhere. Oh, finally. I thought I was gonna have to upload this video having found nothing. I've been recording for like two hours. This video is already gonna be incredibly late and I am super sick right now. So the fact that we actually found something is so freaking rewarding. I think we're just gonna have to jump for it. I can build my way over there if I have to. Right, oh no, Anchor, will you stop? Okay, screw it, screw it, I don't care anymore. The Rav's integrity is no longer a part of this mission. We are building our way to rescue. Yes! Oh, suck it, Steve. We did it. What's going on here? Hello? Hello, bacon lockers. Hello, plastic. Hello, phone. Hello, empty desk. Please tell me this isn't abandoned. I've already gone through this disappointment with Stranded Deep. Don't tell me this is abandoned. There's just a bunch of scrap metal and crap here. There has to be something. Right, there's, there's got to be something more than just a bunch of resources. I could have found this anywhere. Did they forget to put in stairs? I'm just going to have to hardcore parkour my way up here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, they were just using cardboard boxes. Great. I was surviving better than them. Oh my god, the frame rate is so bad here too. So we have an empty cafeteria. Another phone. A lot of phones that I'm willing to bet I can't use to call anybody with. Oh, here we go. They did bother installing stairs. 
on, there's got to be something. There's got to be something. Can I build here? That'd be pretty cool. Um, stairs? Nope. There has to be something at the top, right? I'm going to die of starvation, and it'll be worth it if I find anything otherwise. <laughs> like, this is already a little disappointing, I'm not going to lie. The fact that there isn't really anything all that interesting here, and that I'm getting it via PowerPoint slideshow. Ooh. Did I speak too soon? Where? Safe. People. Utopia? Earth 2028. Oh. So the whole planet is covered in water. Australia completely covered in water. All ice will melt, scientists estimate, two years. Water level expected to rise several hundred meters. Huh. I'm I'm dying. I'm I'm super dying. I can't turn any of this on. But that's pretty interesting. So there may be a utopia. There may be people who have survived. We just don't know. It's probably super laggy there, but they, they might have survived. I need to go get water. The world is covered in water, and here I am dying of thirst. There we go. That's the stuff. So that makes quite a bit more sense now. We are not just some random person trapped at sea, unable to come across a ship or a plane or whatever. There just is no more world. So, I guess I'm living here now. Right, what happened to the people that were here? Did they go to Utopia? Is there going to be an update with Utopia? I have no idea, but I think this video has gone on for long enough. But I think that's going to be it for this episode of Raft, guys. And I'm pretty sure that's the end game. It's like I said, I think that's it. We haven't seen any blueprints or any unbuilt items or any indication that there's actually a Utopia out there. Maybe there isn't. Maybe there'll be an update with one eventually, and then maybe I'll return. But at the end of this, I really wanted to say thank you guys so much for sticking it out with this series. Because I know there are a lot of YouTubers that when a trendy game like this comes out, they just pound out the episodes. They'll get like 10 videos out in a week, and then they'll finish it, and everybody watches that. And then when I make an episode every week, or every four or five days, and it takes me a month or two, people have already seen it. They lose interest. They don't bother watching. But if you're hearing me say this, then you bother watching and I really appreciate it. I like that I get to keep a lot of kind of variety on the channel and just play stuff at my own pace. So thank you guys very much for that and if there is an update with Utopia you can bet we'll return. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.